put the AC in a lower setting. Here I have an Akai GX215D. This here, I obtained this at a yard sale. Um, my intentions is to restore it. It's a little dirty, as you can see. Uh, it needs a good little cleaning and definitely going to need a tune-up inside. So if you're into that sort of thing, stick with me because I'm about to dive right into it. First thing is getting all this grime, all this filth off of this component. I don't know if I'm going to be working out here. If so, yeah, it would be all right. But you know what? I'm going to take this unit inside, so I want this nice and clean, so I don't dirty that area in there. So I like to clean my products with all-purpose cleaner. Spray it onto a rag, and just start cleaning up. Simple as that. All right, so I was doing some further cleaning. I tipped it on its uh, side here. It has feet back on its back. And I uh, came over here to these knobs. So I pulled this one off. And then this one here snapped. Yep, so that's not cute, huh? So hopefully I can fix that. But let me continue cleaning this and then I'll start taking the plate apart and uh, seeing that first and then you know maintaining this thing restoring it i saw another thing another issue uh, i think this was dropped or whatever happened this got bent this should be like this one see and it's pushing putting pressure over here in this plate so i have to take care of that as well so there's going to be a lot of stuff also this here see that that's from years and years of that rubber piece there sitting against this here. Yeah. So a few little issues right from the start. It's unfortunate with this knob, but I guess it is what it is with these older units. Pulled out these other uh, knobs and buttons and oh, thank God nothing happened to them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and then these came out really nice when I cleaned them up. Very nice. And the cover. That's a little scuff mark over there. I guess it's all expected. So yeah, I think uh, this was hit at one time because that was kind of bent. And this is bent. And that's why probably that broke as I went to go take it out. Other than those issues, it's uh, starting to look good. Nice and clean from what it was. That's it. I had to take that out. That was putting pressure on this side of this cover. So let's look at it. Here's that broken component. It's looking bad. I have to go way deep in there. Look at that. All right, so let me turn off the camera. I'm gonna look at this a little more in depth and then um, I'll get back to you shortly. All right, here's what's going on. So this knob here is broken like I've said before and this is what does your play and rewind and fast forward so what I need to do is to get to this screw here it's underneath this mechanism and also in order for me to even get to this mechanism I have to take out this mechanism okay so here we go I'm going to start with this here that now I have to pay attention because 
there's actually a spring right on that ATA. You can't see it probably. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, most likely not. It's behind this post. But there's a spring that's holding on to the side of this lever. I have to make sure that I know exactly where that goes back later. If not, there's going to be problems. And uh, you know how that goes. Okay, yeah, I see there's a spring. It's underneath. Oh boy, this might be <laughs> tough one. Alright, I think I'm going to go like this. Alright, I disconnected it. I got to lift it up now. And. Okay, I disconnected it. The spring's underneath. Here's that mechanism. Set that off to the side. So here's that spring. So this here was wrapped up underneath it and then over it and holding it with that hook. So now I can get to this here, take out this little pin here, put a C-clamp. Okay. I'm going to set this one off to the right side, that way I know it goes to that. And now I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to take out, yeah, I guess I'm going to take out this spring here, slowly. Ooh, don't lose that and then this should all come up and I don't want to lose those uh, washers that's on here as well so like that oops what did I just drop hmm okay that was the bottom plate oh also wait a minute something huh. that's cute so I wasn't paying attention or was I did this go in here I think it did, didn't it? Like that. And then that goes on there. See, I didn't pay attention to that, so that might be a problem for me. But I'm thinking it does, because the underneath there hooks up to that. Let me flip this around, see if there's any indentations of... I don't know. We're gonna have to figure that out after. Keep that in mind, guys. If one of you guys saw what happened there, let me know. I might have to look back on this video. And uh, go from there. Now, let me see. Where was this? This was there, huh? Or was it here? <laughs> okay. Now, let's see if this comes out. Nope. It's not coming out. So, it's going to be a bigger problem than uh, expected. I might have to, if that doesn't come out, I'm just going to have to do an extension. So, here's the old one. Let me, it was already loose, so in here. Okay. Let's see if I can grab this here. There it is. There we go. Oh really broken hold on all, right, all I need is one side anyway just for a, a height comparison so here okay all right so yeah those old parts are not gonna work let's see if this comes out just by pulling a little nothing 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 oh boy this is gonna be real cute all right, here's what's going on. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it took me a long time to figure out how I was gonna fix this little knob here. What I did was I made a shaft, put the shaft in, put a piece of brass into that shaft, drilled out a hole between those two. Then I placed a pin through that, and then with some epoxy, made it all together for some added strength. So, it's still drying. I'm not going to put the spring on it yet, so I'll put tension, so that'll be tomorrow. And what I did was I cleaned everything out and uh, lubricated everything. So that's that. Oh man, hold on. Alright, I don't know what happened there. I had it on zoom all that time. Took this thing out showing you guys, but that was a waste of time. Anyways, what I was saying was I'm going to blow this all out with some compressed air. And then uh, I'm going to go in here with a fine Q-tip with alcohol, 
clean everything nice. There is a belt here for the kana. It seems a little sloppy. It's still working, it's still moving. And it's turning the dials, but it's sloppy. I don't like it. And then the main belt is actually looking pretty good. I am going to leave that one, as you can see. Still good. Yeah. I'll leave that one in there. If uh, it gives a problem in the future, I'll just change it out. But I do want to change that one there. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a mission, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so here's what I got going on. I'm about to put her back onto the case. The case itself is cleaned out. This whole unit, and the mechanism, everything cleaned out. Even the accessories are cleaned out. I ended up repairing this knob. You remember, there's a knob here, a knob here. This one broke, so it's working. Came up with a nice little rig there. This goes here, like so, and it's working good. Beautiful. So I got lucky on that. So the tie-in, just tie-in that screw once it's on here. I made it flat on the sides. So when you do tie-in, nice and snug. And I paid attention to um, the height so it can match this other one. I'll place it here so I'll show you. But there you go. I just have to press down. Let's see. Yeah, so that's that and um, I lubricated everything I did go ahead and change the uh, counter clocks belt it was uh, fairly simple all I had to do was take off this top panel here and then I could get inside there and take out the belt from this side and then the tricky thing was to move this until there's uh, screws there watch I'll spin it and then unscrew that screw there and this one as well and then this whole thing comes out and when it comes out there's a wheel and which that belt sits on and so that's how you replace it so you feed it back in you loop it across here put it back onto that little pulley right there nice and dark in here right there and uh good to go the main belt is really good shape i'm really surprised this is the motor for it so what I did was I cleaned it inside, outside, and the wheel, the wheel itself, that pulley, right there. I cleaned all of that. By the way, everything's cleaned. It's ready to go inside like the case, like I said. And I'm gonna place the cover back on the face, and then I just have to put the little accessories, and then um, put her to the test.